What are the shockable rhythms? Pulseless ventricular tachycardia VT Ventricular fibrillation VF What are the non-shockable rhythms? Asystole Pulseless electrical activity PEA How much should be the depth of chest compressions during CPR? About 2 inches for adults and about 1.5 inches for children. Which pulse are we supposed to check during CPR? Carotid pulse in adults and children. Brachial pulse in infants. What is CAB of CPR? C is for circulation. A is for airway. B is for breathing. What is the compression to ventilation ratio in CPR? 30 is to 2 for adults, 15 is to 2 for children and infants. What are the points to remember while giving CPR to an infant? Cover both his nose and mouth with your mouth. Blow air from your cheeks, not from your lungs. Allow the infant to exhale on his own. Adults and children's responsiveness is checked by shaking the patient and shouting. Are you alright? Are you alright? Wake up! Wake up! Are you alright sir? What is the preferred way to check for breathing? Listen and feel for the air coming from the person's nose or mouth and look at the chest to see if it rises. Chest rise should be checked. Infant CPR is given to any child under the age of 12 months. When the heart stops, brain death will occur within 8 to 10 minutes. Which position is called the recovery position? Lateral recommend position. How do you know the patient is receiving adequate breaths during CPR? The patient's chest rises. How much should be the rate of chest compressions during CPR? 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Before pressing the shock button in case of a shockable rhythm, what are you supposed to do? Shout clear and look around to make sure that no one is in contact with the patient or his bed. If the patient has head and neck injury, how would you open the airway to give breaths during CPR? Jaw thrust technique. How long would you assess the carotid pulse in CPR? 5 to 10 seconds.
The maximum joules that can be selected in a biphasic defibrillator is 200 joules. The maximum joules that can be selected in a monophasic defibrillator is 360 joules. What is the best position for the patient to be in while you are doing CPR? Flat on the floor or bed? Within how many seconds after recognizing cardiac arrest should you begin CPR? Within 10 seconds. How many cycles of CPR should be given in 2 minutes? 5 cycles. Children's CPR is given to anyone under the age of 8. Infant's responsiveness is checked by patting patient's feet and shoulders. To clear the patient's airway, you should Lift chin up and tilt head back. Which technique is used for back mask ventilation during two rescuer CPR? EC clamp technique. How often should the rescuers switch roles when performing two rescuer CPR? Every two minutes after every five cycles of CPR. What are the proper steps for operating an automated external defibrillator? Power on the AED. Attach electrode pads. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Shock advised. Stand clear. Push to shock. The proper steps for operating an AED are power on the AED, attach electrode pads, analyze the rhythm, stand clear and deliver shock. Signs of airway obstruction are inability to speak, high pitched noise while inhaling, poor air exchange. How often should the breaths be administered to an adult individual with an advanced airway in place during two rescue or CPR? One breath every 6 to 8 seconds, that is 8 to 10 breaths per minute. The interruptions in chest compressions should not be longer than 10 seconds. Hyperventilation can be harmful because it may decrease cardiac output, decrease venous return to the heart and increases intrathoracic pressure. Thanks for watching guys. Do like, share and comment. And don't forget to subscribe us. You can see all my updates by clicking the bell icon button. Thank you. Bye.